Good afternoon. This is Ezra from DocuWare. I've had the pleasure of working with Lawrence Boyson over the last month or two to explore DocuWare as a possible application to add to IGP's technology suite. In working with Lawrence, he's explained a little bit about your goals as a company, and um, I hope that you'll hear from him how he thinks DocuWare could fit into the overall scheme of things. Uh, to give you a little background, DocuWare is a document management content management company who's been in business for 30 years. Our co-presidents are actually the co-founders of the company, so I certainly like to highlight the continuity and stability that our company has. Um, in terms of our software, I just want to give you a very brief overview. I understand you guys are very busy folks with a lot going on. Um, my goal for this is not to answer all questions, but to certainly generate enough interest so that you may come together for a uh, more thorough demonstration. So this is DocuWare. DocuWare is a browser-based software. As long as you can connect to the internet, whether it's from a laptop, tablet, mobile phone, you can access your documentation and contribute to workflows if configured for that. In terms of our setup, on the right side of the screen, we render document images for viewing. We can render over 150 different file types, everything from PDF and Word documents to niche CAD and engineering drawings. On the right side of the screen, we have the ability to pull up and interact with our documents in a number of different ways. So what I'd like to do is keep it very simple. I'd like to bring a few documents into the system, show you how we can index them and store them so that they're easy to retrieve later on, show you a few other neat tips and tricks, and uh, at that point you can let me know if you'd like to see a little bit more. In terms of getting documents into DocuWare, we can do so a number of different ways. Uh, we can connect a scanner or a copy machine so that we can bring paper documents in very easily. Uh, what I'd like to show you is our Outlook integration because I understand, or I imagine, you use Outlook quite a bit for all the things that you do. So within Outlook, we have the ability to add a DocuWare tab into your ribbon, which allows us to do a few things. First, we can search for documents that are stored in DocuWare with just one click. So if I wanted to see all the documents related to Project 2340, I would just hit Quick Search, and it would bring me back results from DocuWare in Outlook. If we prefer to see the thumbnail, we could just select Thumbnail View. And if we wanted to actually see the document, we would simply double click, and it would render the document for viewing. Now, on the other side of things, if we had documents in our Outlook that we needed to get into DocuWare, we could do so with just one click. In this case, I have a store dialog that is saying just store the attachment in a certain document tray. So I'm going to click store, and this document is going to be moved into my DocuWare tray and begin the process of searching through that document for key index information. So what you see in the top left corner is an indication of our intelligent indexing engine, which searches through the document. And before I even open up that document, we're able to pull off some of the key information, such as first name, last name, ID, social, and date of birth. This way, when I go to store it into the file cabinet, it makes it very easy for me to do so. Um, a key area where we see this done quite often is for accounts payable where invoices come in, we leverage DocuWare to strip off the vendor name, the different amounts, and then we transport that into any kind of ERP or accounting software that you might have in place. So now that I have this indexed, I'm just going to go ahead and store this into my file cabinet. If I needed to make some notes on it, I do have the ability to do so. And I can say, test. If I needed to highlight, I could highlight. If I needed to redact, I could redact in black. I could also redact in white so it looks like I didn't even touch the document. These are just overlays on the document. We can always turn them off or turn them on. Uh, you always have access to your original for audit or business needs. So I'm going to go ahead and store this, and I'll store those annotations that I added to the document. Now I'm going to go into our search capabilities so you can see how we can now search for any document with all those different indexes that we added. So I can search very broad. I can say, show me all the medical records in the file cabinet, and it brings back two. Or I can drill down a little further, and I can say, show me medical records 
for last name Jones. Um, at this point, it'll filter down to his social security number, and results are filtered. So if I don't limit it to Jones, and I just show all the socials, it'll give me everything in the cabinet. But when I drill down to Jones, it limits me to only the items that match medical records Jones, and that gives me just one option to choose there. Uh, aside from that, we do have something called full text capabilities. So if I say, let's say, you know, state, or even a partial, just S-T-A with an asterisk. It'll go out in the file cabinet and find me any time where S-T-A with something after it occurs, such as status, or I can toggle down and see state. So with full text capabilities, it really is like Google for your file cabinet. It allows you to find that needle in a haystack no matter what you have, um, no matter how many documents you have. It gives you a lot that you can work with. I do want to show you very quickly um, one of our integration tools called Smart Connect. So I don't have access to every line of business application, but I know you guys are all familiar with Excel. Uh, this looks like a very common Excel file that you might see, except we have this button that we've placed on it using a tool that we have called Smart Connect. So Smart Connect is a very simple tool to configure, which allows us to integrate with virtually any application with zero programming required. Um, it's just an overlay button that we place in the white space of an application. Uh, it doesn't make any changes into the application itself. So the idea here is I could be working in any application that I use. Maybe it's uh, SAP or Great Plains or something else. If you are looking at a record, but you need to see the actual image of a document, you could just highlight something on that document, click the Smart Connect button. In this, connect, in this situation, I'm highlighting the Social Security number, and I'm clicking this SSN button. And Smart Connect will go out to DocuWare and bring back a result list with any document that meets the criteria of that button. In this case, it's bringing back the two documents that have the Social Security number matching the Social Security in the Excel file. Now, we can create multiple buttons. For example, I can have a button for last name. I could have a button for date of birth. And we can execute multiple searches uh, based on different criteria while staying in the line of business application. So a very user-friendly way to link DocuWare and your documents with virtually any application that you might use. Out of respect for your time, I want to show just one last thing uh, in terms of permissions and security. Um, we work with some very secure organizations around the world who require uh, stringent security requirements. I imagine you guys would be no different. In terms of security, we can be very granular in terms of what we allow folks to see. For example, I'm going to do a full search of the file cabinet. You'll notice there are eight documents here. And we see a bunch of different index fields, such as first name, last name, social security, date of birth. Additionally, this user has the ability to print, email, and download documents. I'm going to log out from this user and log in as a different user with more limited um, abilities to see documents in DocuWare. Now, when this user executes a search on the entire file cabinet, they only see three documents. I'm not permitting them to see the medical records or the background checks. Additionally, in the index fields, you'll notice you can't see social security number because I did not give them permission to see that. Uh, on top of that, I've turned off their ability to download, email, or print documents. And they don't have the ability to see a document without the redactions removed as there is information on this document that's been redacted out in white. So in terms of permissions and security, we can be very specific in terms of who is able to see what, who is able to do what. And in addition to that, every touch on a document in DocuWare is audited or is logged with a full audit trail, which I can view in history, although this user doesn't have the ability to see that. Sorry, I should have checked that ahead of time. I'll show you on the other side of things. For example, I can go to a document, I can check the audit log, and see any touch that's been made on a document in terms of changing an index data, opening it, editing it, adding an annotation, 
emailing, downloading, and so on and so forth. All downloadable as a CSV file, which we can import into some kind of a business intelligent audit, intelligence audit tool if necessary. So that's a very quick run through of DocuWare. Um, certainly hoping that you guys can use your imagination to see how this could be a tool that you can build a lot of documentation and workflow processes on top of. Uh, to be very honest, I haven't even shown the workflow capabilities or the eForms capabilities, which are some of the highest powered uh, tools that we have available within the software. Uh, if this is something you'd be interested in seeing more of, I hope we can coordinate a time through Lawrence. Uh, I understand you guys have some very lofty goals as a company, and I'd certainly like to get my foot in the door early with you. Thank you for your time, and best of luck. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.